Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd uh, make some uh, bolt-on hooks for my uh, loader, three of them. So I bought some uh, uh, four inch by uh, quarter inch by uh, one foot long uh, plate. And I'll use two plates, one for the top of the loader and then uh, the second plate for underneath. So I bought uh, two of these plates from uh, a place called Fleet Farm. If you got one of those by there, uh, by you, uh, and uh, I'm gonna weld these on. So I'll cut the steel and drill the holes. And uh, after I get done drilling the holes, I'll uh, weld these on. So I'm gonna get to it here. Okay, next step I'm doing here, I got all the plates cut, uh, six of them. Um, I'm going to grind the uh, burr off the ends, and then I'll put a, a, a small radius on the corners. I'm using this handy little jaw horse here, works pretty good. So you just uh, put, put it in about a third of the way, and then you push down on this guy. It's a great little portable vise. So, trying to burr off, make sure you wear eye protection. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, grind the mill scale off the top. It's pretty smooth right now, so I'm going to take that off so the paint will adhere better, the primer and the paint. So we'll flip it around here. And so if you've never tried one of these jaw horses, you just push down on it, flip the unlock, and then uh, that releases it. Turn it around, clamp it in, push the lock, ready to rock and roll. Okay, uh, so we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, next thing I did here is uh, drew up about uh, three quarters of an inch uh, perimeter around there and uh, took a center punch and uh, punched off the corners. And then I'll use this uh, first plate to uh, get the other ones done. If I, uh, if I had a CNC machine, I could just bang these all out in a curved vise and put them up to a stop and be done with it. And about uh, one tenth of the time here, but uh, this will work just fine. Okay, now I, uh, I after I got the done with the first one, I'm using that as a template for drilling the rest of the ones. So. I just stacked them up together and I put the uh, lengthways 
um, or the, the width weighs into the vise here, the part that I didn't cut on. Um, that's more of a precise size, so it's uh, working pretty well. pressure off as it's breaking through. There we go. So we got another plate drilled here. Okay, here I am uh, welding the uh, hooks onto the uh, plate. And uh, I centered it on there. Centered it up on the plate. And uh, welded up the ends a little bit. And then uh, I put a little bit of a tack weld on the left side. So. Um, it doesn't uh, pull so much when you're welding the right side, so um, I'm gonna, not sure how to uh, weld and film at the same time, so I'm going to weld this up. Okay, I got the uh, hooks all welded on. Turned out pretty good. Um, I tied in the ends after I was done. Uh, just got to clean them up a little, a little bit, clean the spatter off a little bit with the grinder and uh, prime them and paint them here. So, Okay, next uh, I've got the uh, hook uh, before I prime and paint it. I've got it uh, clamped down to the top of uh, um, the bucket where I want it and um, I'm going to use each individual one for its respective area so um, and I found the center here uh, put a couple dots so that's going to be the center there and then I'll measure over and make sure that the other one on the left side is going to be just as far over as this one so um, then I clamp it down and uh, and I'll just start drilling the holes through here with the with the drill. So I bought three ace bolts, grade eight, inch and a half long, I believe it is. More than enough thread there to uh, put washers and uh, two washers and a lock washer on there. So um, I'll get to it here and uh, drill these out. And then it'll be priming and painting of the. I also got uh, plates for underneath for extra reinforcement. So uh, that should uh, help pretty good. Okay, the next thing I've got going on here is uh, just uh, prepping it for paint. Um, I bought this. Uh, stuff called prep and etch by clean strip um, a while back from a place called Home Depot and uh, it says it removes rust from metal surfaces and inhibits flash rusting etches concrete and masonry surfaces helps ensure good paint adhesion so put some of that in this uh, bottle here spray it on liberally Flip it over in a little bit here and uh, spray that side too. Get it all clean. Clean your hands. Dry it up really good and then we're going to... Next step will be prime, prime and paint. Yeah, I got them all hooked up and uh, hooking up, hooked on the ladder here for painting. Um, on that prep and hatch, the directions did call out for uh, letting that f uh, phosphate spray to stay on there for about 15 minutes to a half hour 
and uh, and then go uh, rinse it thoroughly with water. So I did that, and then um, I uh, blew it off thoroughly with air, making sure you get inside the holes and everything. Um, so after I got done welding these, it's probably worth pointing out that I ran the drill through all these holes to remove any spatter. Since I didn't use any spatter spray, I didn't have any available here at the house. So, uh, but yeah, if you got spatter spray, spray these down so you don't have to um, pull the spatter off. So, I'm gonna hit it with primer a little bit here. And Paint them up. I think you get the idea here. Paint it. Okay, here we go. Shooting a little bit of green, not John Deere green. I bought this. Uh, does it say the? Okay, it says. TY 25624 is the part number. My phone is not really zooming in. Good to spray light coats on there. Just kind of hit it. Keep buzzing around. I'm by no means a painter, but Okay, I think you get the point of what that step is. Okay, they're all bolted up now. Um, I got the vacuum plates all in underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Down there. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning uh, in case some of you are wondering uh, how much weight it adds to the loader. Um, with the backing plates, uh, it's uh, exactly 10 pounds so uh, with with the hardware and the weights if you don't have the backing plates on there um, then we're talking uh, just under seven pounds so uh, for those of you who want to know how much this is adding to your loader for weight on uh, picking dirt, uh, different things up and might not be able to pick it up with this extra weight so um, thanks for watching my video if you enjoyed it today uh, definitely give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate that and um, subscribe to my channel um, I uh, got more interesting videos that uh, definitely coming uh, as time permits um, I'll uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching